Testing, we are testing volume and this is the event that looks a million for Blair. It's December the 14th, 2006. And we're right now waiting for people to show up. Good evening. How are you? Um, thanks for coming um, on a school night. My name is Blair. Mr. Blair to some of you, and thanks for all the people that uh, came, first timers, and the people that uh, have come from uh, Brownsburg and Avon and the suburbs, and all the people that came to Starbucks. Uh, for the people that have never been here, we host these events sporadically. Our last event was at Starbucks on a Friday night, we had 100 plus people. Um, over there is a, a little mailing list you can sign up on, and our next event will be here January 19th, a Friday night. And we have a, a sign in list that is on this table, and you can sign it or you can just go up whenever you want. And uh, we're looking for something uh, family friendly doesn't have to be politically correct, and uh, thanks for, for everyone coming. I guess I'll start off with something off the dough, and I need to take inspiration from someone out there. So who has a thought for me? <coughs> books and reading. The books and the reading and the way that you feel, the games and the dreams and the things that you steal. You steal your candy and you steal your gum, you steal your Game Boy, but do you have fun? So the books are like reading and reading is like death. You have your brain and your soul and you have reading left. So think about the conquest of African graves. Think about the dreams that people have saved. So books have such posture and books have such rhyme. You have to start reading and make the time point is you have to, I was talking to kids this week about reading and they just hate reading, a lot of kids hate reading. I have a poem off my thought, you heard about George Bush going on a listening tour? You heard that? I don't want to hate, but I'm going to do a poem called The Listening Tour. Because are you sick of hearing about 100 people, 200 people, 500,000 people dying over there? So the listening to him. The tour of the glisten and the listen of the shine of the tour of George Bush and things not so fine. Of people that are so sad, so lost and so ill as the bloods and the graves and the Iraqis just spill. They spill out their wonder and their division and hope. Listening to her, listening to her. How does the guy cope? How does he sleep and how does he care? How do we vote of a life of despair, of conquest, of hatred, of division so sad? Tell me, who does he listen to? Not his mom or his dad. He listens to his dog, to his wife, to his dreams. He doesn't listen to America and these beautiful things. So the war makes me ill and the war makes me sad. So you turn off the TV and thank God you're more glad. Because the listening tour is dope and it's sad. It makes me sort of lonely and a little mad. So, first performer is a guy who brought a keyboard. His name's Chris Sullivan. 
And Chris is willing to improvise with anyone tonight, be it singer, poet, rapper. So if you've got something you want to do with Chris Sullivan, uh, I'm going to introduce Chris Sullivan, and he's going to start us off with a ballad. So thanks for coming. Feel it inside of me. She has a quality. Purpose for me to live. I feel I need to give. This girl, she keeps me, she keeps me going on. She keeps me going.
person, and we didn't write down what they're doing, Angie. Where is Angie? Huh? All right. How about my friend? Are you, uh, uh, Angie, all right, there you go. Don't be so shy. To check. I build a relationship with you. I call your name first thing in the morning, several times during the day, and I am your nightlife. I make you go and earn monies to be able to supply me to you, be it trick, job, or robbery. We have a love-hate relationship. I am your only friend. If all you have is more, then everything will be okay. The people who sell me to you are the people who really love you. I promise them wealth quickly with a little risk of trouble. They're friends, 
family and other loved ones usually receive that first fix for free. They may not live as long as God intended, but if you don't get caught, then your greediness is worth it. You are not hooked on the possibilities that I can help you get on your feet despite any risk. Can you see the new car? Maybe funds for school. New job, new apartment, new clothes, new friends. You know, the ones that don't leave at 3 a.m. New income for whatever you deem necessary, since I am wanted at all times. I spend most of the seller's time, too. Oh, yes, I am crack. I will forever love and hold you till the day you die, when no one else will be there. I am glad you are hooked on me as I am on you. Save your last breath in the corn. I can't. What I can do, give you respect in these bars. God must have been blessing me hard. Cause we lost you. I'm only just left with some scars. I wish you might see me checking the stars. Cause you was gonna be the one that was destined to spark. I hope you get this letter. Wish for better. It's not possible. I wish you could live forever. Miss forever, always in my memory, simply, I know you're here just not physically, is it me, or it just don't seem right, I want to scream twice, every time I see the beaming lights, writing a letter to heaven, just for my brothers, to tell them that I love them, and I'm always thinking of writing a letter to heaven, just for you man, I can't understand you was my blood and my friend, right? Uh, 
Well, this is Amnesty. This is our uh, group, Record Label, MEDG Productions. This is Young DG, and I'm Avenue. Like trains in the winter With a bang in the game I'm on in the state controlling the shame On stations we play like that Sony game I see the picture and I'm holding the frame Think I'm blood how I flow to your brain They used to the usual So like I dropped quarters I'm gonna show them some change Ready to strike And I ain't finna bowl in the lane Just hoping I get my hope I'm coming. I'm glad I'm feeling my I can't see nothing. Just hoping. I'm wishing. I'm coming. I'm glad I'm feeling my I can't see nothing. Just hoping. I'm wishing. I'm coming. I'm glad I'm feeling my I can't see nothing. Just hoping. I'm wishing. I'm coming. I'm glad I'm feeling my Everybody always trying to tell me, but I know I can do it, so in the future, we gon' see who really need help. Yeah. Just hoping I get my hope in. I'm feeling blindfolded. I'm feeling blindfolded. Savior Jesus Christ. But since Mr. Witness, I've changed my name. And that's basically because the message that I got, you know what I mean? I, I want people on the streets to hear it. I want them to feel it. You know what I mean? So I changed my name to Braille. And that's simply because I want them to feel what I'm saying. And that's how you read Braille, right? All right. So now my name is Braille, just so you know. All right. Uh, my name is Braille. I'm from the group called The Field. I'm one third of that group. Um, that's www.thefield.com, plug, plug, D-A-F-I-L-L-E-D.com, all right. And this thing I'm about to do is called Double Minded. I ain't done it in a long time. You might remember that. It's from my, my first album I did by myself, uh, solo album. It's called Double Minded. It's from James 1 and 8. Double Minded Man is unstable in all his ways. How many of y'all know to do the right thing sometime, but yet you still do the wrong thing? And that's what this poem is about. 
I hit the church Sunday morning thanking God for his mercy last week. My body be all up in service, but my mind be out on the street. Since it's me, can't rebuke me. If it was Satan, I could rebuke him. Let pastor tell her this is a simple thing. It's just my mind needs renewing. Got good intentions, but the thoughts I think ain't coming to life. Still having visions of me hustling, plus me running the night. Despite of all the things I've learned about choosing heaven and hell, it just seems like hell just want me worse and Satan's taking me there. Don't get me wrong, I know God is good. I mean, I know that I'm blessed. It's just that when the devil brings temptations, blessings turn into stress. See, I've confessed of all my sins. I know that I'm cleansed, yet I can't make it through the day without me sinning again. I've been in the pen and hear the hells like that, but amplified. Eternally dwell, but this time that cell gonna be dipped in fire. See, I've retired from my wicked ways, but I can't forget how much it paid. Man, it paid. Man, it paid. Man, it paid. I'm double-minded. Dear God, could you help me? Or are you losing your patience? Some of them things I've done has been foul. Even some of them flagrant. But I thought, Lord, probably by now I'll be dead on the pavement. But I, want, but I want to thank you, Lord, right now for all that mercy you gave me. Dying on the cross for all of my sins, giving me a chance to repent. And when I asked you for a miracle, look how many angels you sent. A word of angels. Now I know they angels. Can't no devil take away that glory. Because Tennessee came to we used to be my only story. But I'm delivered from that now. But in my mind, though, how would it feel to hit a blunt? It's been a while, man, so I know I'll be nailed. But what if I die or went to jail? Or maybe worse, went to hell. I can't get out, right? Ain't no coming back or getting out on bail. I'm double-minded. My little cousin called me up. He's got a lick for some cheese. He told me I can keep the cash, man. He gonna flip the keys. I told him, man, you know I'm at church, plus I got two felonies. Hung up the phone, but started thinking what that money could do for me. I got hard times, and I got hard rhymes, and record companies ain't feeling me. Should I act on this evil? The devil's instilled in me. My mind says yes, but then my mind says no. My spirit say hold up, but then my flesh say go. I don't know. I guess I will as long as I ain't got to kill. Call up my cousin on the cell and told him meet me there at 12. It's only popping. Got my Glock ready to do this once again. But God kept giving me them scriptures, 1 Timothy 6 and 10. But I ignored it. Jumped in my ride and floored it to the spot. I met my cousin in the back. We smoked a sack, wiped down my Glocks. Then we rushed in, kicked the door down, bust in. Glocks off for caution, busting shots off in the air. You know, just to be flossing. But somebody heard that. Police quick to respond, black. Now they got us surrounded. Man, they clowning. Now I'm down here facing 15 in the county. Man, they clowning. Five years on habitual, 10 years for the crime. I guess it don't pay for none of us to be double-minded. Sign in sheet. Um, stop laughing at me. Um, my friend from Luna Music. What's, what's your name? Warren. Warren, you ready? Uh, let's hear it for Warren. It's called Life on the Streets. When I was homeless, I used to bathe at the handicapped drinking fountain at the library. The looks on the patrons' faces read like a trashy horror novel while they rushed their children past me back outside to the safety of a sunless day. This poem's called Pizza Hut in South Detroit. I'm with my Irish grandmother, and there's a jukebox filled to the gills with gangster rap music. While we're waiting for our pizza, she asks me a question about a lyric she overheard, and I try to explain to her without using swear words exactly what Snoop Dogg means when he says, for shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> This one's called Mishap. This girl I wasn't really well acquainted with had an accident in front of my house. She walked to my door, mostly unharmed, to use the telephone. I let her in and she uses the telephone in a hushed voice that makes me feel in some small way responsible for the crash. Her pretty, fa 
her pretty face is there. I'm sorry, there, her pretty face has a small amount of blood. I want to remember the way she looked at this moment. I find myself wanting to get to know her better. So days later, I stage an accident near her place. I wreck my rusty foreign car into a tree and walk to her place with a possible broken arm and a heart full of ambition. This one's called Two Week Notice in Haiku Form. In two weeks, I will no longer work here. No one appreciates me. Thank you. <laughs> This song's about having something inside you just really don't know how to put your finger on it, so. Um, I just kind of was going through some stuff back in March, April, early May kind of thing, and just didn't know what was going on inside, so this is kind of where this song came from.
That was so eloquent. Thank you. Um, Blair mentioned earlier, and he was talking about, like I said, this is kind of impromptu for me because I really haven't played on it. I always carry my guitar around. Um, when you talk about war and everybody kind of being tired of it, and uh, we have every right to be because it's, you know, it's, it's a centuries old thing where people keep thinking that killing's the answer. They think it's the answer on the streets, they think it's the answer in this world, and they're always looking for somebody to hate. And, and hate and killing is not the answer. It's never solved anything and never will. These wars aren't being won as long as people are dying. And, uh, and the wars on the streets aren't being won either. We're losing kids, generations of uh, youngsters that could carry on a message of, uh, of peace and understanding and love. And, and uh, that's kind of what I was going to sing about. The other part, too, uh, that was my stepson there, uh, Braille, whom I love dearly. And he had mentioned, uh, you know, the uh, being double-minded and, and having to deal all the time the struggle that we have with Satan and that evil. And that's where all this comes from. This war, it isn't man. It's easy to hate and easy to hate man and people and different people, people that you feel are different. You know, it's easy to point at Al-Qaeda and, and Iraq and Iran and Korea and say all those people are the people to hate. That's not who to hate. Because we're all being fooled by the Joker man. And that's what uh, one of the songs is. So a fellow back in the 60s, Bob Dylan did a couple of songs and uh, I'm just going to do abbreviated versions of both. But uh, one dealt with peace and the other dealt with uh, being aware of who our true enemy is. How many roads must a man walk down Before you can call him a man How many seeds must a white girl sound Before he can sleep in the sand Someone you thought of as normal would have took the only part, the only part of her family that kept her life together. Her mother and grandmother are now gone forever. A couple shots of a gun in a blink of an eye. Imagine the most innocent sound of my little niece cry. I must now be like a mother and I'll try to lead the way because this little girl's future with her real mother has been taken away. He might have thought he won because he took away our family but I'm gonna raise my sister's daughter to the best of my ability. See, I'm gonna grow while teaching her to succeed 
because I promised Crystal I'd give her baby all that she'd ever need. That was my first poem. And my second poem is, um, it's to my boyfriend. Um, I've, I usually never read love poems because I don't know why, but I decided, I wrote it in class today and I decided I'd read it. So, okay. <laughs> I've never believed in a soulmate, love at first sight or love lasting forever. But that first time, that time before our first kiss, when our eyes first met, I felt our souls join together. I know that whether it's said or not, we are meant for each other. And I know that whether you're near or far, I'll never want another. It's just that feeling that I get all through my body that assures me that it's true. It's just the way you look at me. I know for sure I'm in love with you. They try to tell me that we won't last and people try to break us apart. But no one can take me away from the only one who from the start has had my heart. I promise that I won't hurt you like others have hurt you and my promises are forever. Because since that first time, that time before our first kiss, when our eyes first met, I felt our souls joined together. That's it. Would you consider me a hero if I could save four children out of a burning building? Would you consider me a hero if I could stop a bomb from killing innocent civilians? Would you consider me a hero? Would I really be a hero? Yeah, I'd really be a hero. I sit back and I'm writing the things I'm not Superman, Batman But I got a mic in a dream I like how it seems Sometimes I slow down But when I slow down I feel like my mind is racing People want to change me But they continue to keep it on the same station Got lyrics, I got spirit You gotta hear it though It's a miracle But soon as my spirit flow Damn, I got a calm type of voice That a soothe your spirit As soon as you hear it Incoherent words may come out my mouth sometimes But with the rhymes They bright like sunshine And I feel I can do better than most and People think they the bread of my toast, but I know I can do it with my cousin and me. Rushing your seat, gotta keep it hot just like the oven. Save four children out of a burning building. Would you consider me a hero? I could stop a bomb from dropping on innocent civilians. Would you consider me a hero? Would I really be a hero? I think I'm a hero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I just speak from the soul. That's what we lack in America. I feel like I'm rapping a predator. This is from the top of freestyle. This cause I really feel this. It's too realistic. Sometimes I get happy and smile. And sometimes I think about my brother and my mind start wilding. But I gotta keep a smile on my face for my mom and my dad. It won't get wild in a place, so I keep it together. We gotta keep it packed like leather. No matter how many weathers can come through, it's gonna rain sometimes. But ain't nobody gonna blame my rhymes, it's just me. A couple of pins and a package of pencils. I use it for my utensils, my utensils. This is straight mental, it's getting simple. Coming back, yeah. Consider me a hero. Would I really be a hero? I think I am a hero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm finna be your hero. serious. Have fun at home. I remember one day before a basketball game, we gathered in my classroom and everybody gathered around me and my guys. We watched my brother Deshaun and our buddy Stefan make the beat while our friend AJ rapped. My teacher and his wife got involved and all into it too. We won a game. That night, Friday, 
Me and my girls had a long talk on the phone. My cousin let me borrow his instrumentals, and I flowed to Snoop's Driver Like It's Hot. It's, at the beginning, it was tight, but at the end, I was talking about chickens and sandwiches. Um, but, but who has the time for that now? Only school, 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 and dressing awkwardly. Last year, we had a fashion show every day. You get your girls or your boys dressed the same, make a scene, and brighten people's day. We even helped a girl less popular in the class to make her feel good about herself multiple times. But nobody makes anybody feel appreciated anymore. They pay people to care for you, counselors, to make you feel good. I guess I gotta forget about style and real friends. You have to act where I am now. There isn't any acceptance or difference anymore. Over the years, I'm not weird anymore. I can't be. It's not okay. Guess I gotta forget about being me. Speaking, people not like me criticize people who are like me, who try to speak like people like me. How do I understand myself if I don't have anyone like me close? Can't. Oh well, I'm stuck here. But the only one who will listen and not talk is my pen and paper. I've been hearing now for a couple of months about what Blair has been up to here. And I've sung all over the United States, but never for a more important group. I think that inspiring creativity and, and uh, expressiveness in young people is the most important thing that we can do in life. And we thank Blair for that a lot. Do you guys agree? So I want to sing a little song about uh, the way that I feel about people that are trying to develop and become bigger and about the people that we love. And stand with me. Those lies were mine to love and cherish To guard and guide along life's way Oh, God forbid that one should perish and come back home to stay. Back through the years we we'll fall together, back to the place we'd run and play. For all times now, for all times wondering, and come back home to stay. Oh, I'm lonesome for my precious children. They live so far away. Oh, amazing, here I come, calling, and come back home to stay. God bless you.